Welcome to the Innovator Series, where we showcase the promising innovations in Australia's startup ecosystem. Today we have Vera Jagnihotri, founder and CEO of Augmented Bionics. They've developed the first of its kind, a non-surgical bionic ear. Welcome to the show, Viraj. Thank you for having me, Clarice. Let's see what Augmented Bionics is all about. 400 million people in the world have a hearing disability. For 70 million of those, it gets so severe that even hearing aids are ineffective. The only solution for them is a cochlear implant, but the surgical risks and high costs of the implant make it inaccessible to them. They are actively looking for a solution, and that is where augmented bionics can help. We are building a non-surgical bionic ear that will provide the convenience and affordability of a hearing aid with the functionality of a cochlear implant, allowing them to hear once more. What inspired you to start this venture? Uh, I think the inspiration behind this venture came from an idea back in 2013 uh, to build an augmented reality brain computer interface uh, that could transmit the sensory experience of one person into the brain of another person. And the key was to have something that was completely non-invasive and externally wearable and didn't require a surgery that would open somebody's brain up to put an implant inside. So at the time I was studying bioengineering and I used to play a lot of different musical instruments. So I figured let's focus on sound as one of the first of the five senses. As I dug deeper into the technologies that could achieve this, I realized there was a massive unmet need in the hearing devices industry, where every year there were one and a half million additional patients whose hearing loss went beyond what hearing aids could handle, and they couldn't get a cochlear implant because either the risks involved in the surgery or the costs were too much for them. And on the other hand, there was this technology called magnetic stimulation that was already being used in clinics to uh, stimulate the brain cells of people with depression without even touching their skin. And I, I could apply that to the hearing device. Uh, that's when I realized I should focus on building a non-surgical bionic ear and that's what led to augmented bionics. And as a graduate from the Indian Institute of Technology, why did you come to Australia to follow your entrepreneurial journey? So three reasons I'd say. The first one was that the cochlear implant in its modern form has been invented here, which means there are a lot of people around with the know-how to help us build a bionic ear. Uh, the second is that the universities here have very well established commercialization pipelines, which means that all the research and innovation we do here with our university partners is always geared towards that end final product that's going to go into the hands of our customers. And then all the stakeholders involved uh, in this research have experience with medical device commercialization and development. The third reason was that Australia has very strong clinical trials infrastructure, which means that the clinical data we generate here uh, is acceptable in most of the countries around the world, which is a big advantage for a medtech startup like us. And what's your vision for the future of augmented bionics, Viraj? How can this technology application evolve? Sure. Um, so currently, our focus is to do preclinical proof of concept, after which our immediate goal is to uh, open our next investment round of about 5 million in November. Um, and that would help us in development and conducting pilot clinical trials. After that, I think we'll need about 10 million to get this product to market. Once we start generating revenue from the hearing device, that's when the true potential of our technology and the vision of augmented bionics begins to take shape. So we've already covered a lot of different clinical applications in our patent, which has now been filed in the US, Europe, China, Canada, and Australia. And essentially, we have a tech here that could stimulate potentially any nerve inside the body without going in. And we can use that for spinal cord stimulation to help people with chronic pain uh, or uh, to help restore mobility in people with paralysis. We could also use this in deep brain stimulation where magnetic stimulation has already shown promises in treatment for Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, depression, migraine and a lot more. And our final vision is to build a non-invasive bionic eye, something like a pair of glasses that a person with certain kind of blindness can just wear and it would activate their optic nerve of using magnetic stimulation, allowing them to see again. That's amazing, Viraj. Thank you so much for coming on the show and all the best in your upcoming investment round. Thank you. And if you want to meet more innovators, follow Tomorrow's Tech.